I'm in high school. What the hell? You said you were 23! Yeah, and you said you love me. Well, I guess you got me there. Hey, Quagmire, sorry to bother you, but we're following up on a tip. Did you have sex with this underage girl? I don't want to go to jail, but I really want to take credit. Quagmire, I'm afraid you're under arrest for statutory rape. <sighs> all right, but let me just send the pictures I took of her last night to all my friends. Uh... Oh, yeah! Boom! You're disgusting. Take them away. We've got all the awesome evidence we need. Please, go ahead, Mr. Quagmire. Look, I know everyone's sitting out there judging me today, but before you do, please know I had it pretty rough growing up. My dad was a military man, so he, he wasn't around much. And my mom? Well, let's just say she was a little promiscuous. In fact, I think my problem started the day I was born. It's a boy, Mrs. Quagmire. Ah, oh, that's wonderful. How do you feel? Horny. Really horny. Could you put him back so I can push him out again? I was born nine times that day, and things never got easier. The only way I learned my ABCs was by learning the names of all the guys my mom slept with. Art, Bob, Chet, Don, Ed, Frank, Gus, Hal, Irv, John, Ken, Lou, Matt, Ned, Ox, Pat, Quint, Ron, Sam, Tom, Ulf, Vic, Walter, Xavier, Yaz, and Zeke. Those are just some of the guys. There are lots of other guys. It was awful. I didn't even get to go to my high school prom, but my mom did. Hey, is Crystal ready? Oh, hi, Ronnie. Hey, listen, have my mom home by midnight, okay? How about I plow her in the limo and have her home in 20 minutes? Oh, come on, Ronnie. She bought the dress. Mr. Quagmire, your story is a sad one, but that doesn't excuse your actions. I have no choice but to sentence you to 20 years in prison. <gasps> oh, no, you don't. Mom? Crystal? Ha! She's enjoyed many men.